my stripes, Adidas. Mommy screaming, Papi, no mas. Hey, we in here, you guys. Bronx Museum. What's up, sexy faces? Let's get it. Okay, so um, I'm just trying to go to space, baby. You trying to take me or not? Nah? Like, hello, Abigail. Let's get it in this lunar capsule, baby. You see the gold leaf. So on this, baby, you have to actually fill out a Google form to ask you things like how long you've been on Earth, um, how did you get here, what's your most favorite or cherished memory. So, um, yeah, let's get it. These Cosmo Gates, though, fire. She talks about, like, how she collected some of these um, televisions and how she doesn't have a car, so it was one by one. And these are, like, different areas of the Bronx um, in different time periods. Beautiful, loving the blue. I'm feeling this. Um, I grew up in that era, so I had the big, bulky, like, <laughs> joint. And this is um, some of the conversations that were captured. Deandre captured in the capsule. Doesn't it sound like you're eavesdropping? Love that. Reminds me of, like, actually growing up in the Bronx for a this babe right here, though, is untitled, but it reminds me of this poem I wrote a long time ago, like, and I was talking about how, you know, you feel like the discarded cigarette bud, so it really spoke to me. I really love this. Um, yeah, the textures, everything. I love the staples in that bad boy. Um, this is Mirror Mirror right here, and this is some of the, like, objects that were found in NYCHA buildings in the Bronx. Um, this is called Project Code, Bronx Floors. Some of these things are collections of, like, her grandmother's house. Um, beautiful work. And she also includes some of the moldings in her face and a lot of her artwork. Um, the staples, I'm here for it. Um, the broken mirror. Let's go, you guys. Like, you have to come to the Bronx and come step in here and really, like, feel this vibe out. I'm, like, weird when it comes into looking into broken mirrors, but I'm here for it. This Luther joint... It's a little eerie. It gave me, like, hangman vibes. Um, there's a message hidden in between there. It was, like, nailed in. I want to know more about this. Um, I have questions. Ms. DeVille, Abigail, please, hunty. Um, and these floors. Oh, my God. These Bronx floors. My mom was a super for many years. Over 15 years in the Bronx. And these look very familiar. Like, when people move out and you have to, like, fix the apartments. And you find all these, like, loose chains and all these, like, memories. Um, just history and layers of paint and beautiful. Um, this stove, Hunty, is from her grandmother's house. I love it, though. It is vintage. She painted it in blue. She put the chandelier. She put chains. The texture, the grittiness, the history. Baby, I'm trying to come out here with this. So the axe? Like, I just want to know, where did you store all this? These are beautiful, and I love the collection of, like, um, some of the things that you found in NYCHA buildings. Because, I mean, like, growing up in the Bronx or even in New York City, NYCHA, you know, kind of makes you feel like you know something about it. And all these things, all these objects look very, very familiar. Now, this babe is just, like, another board from her house. Love the termites. This is fire. Um, it's crates. It's called Inheritance, and it's about her dad. Um... Listen, you guys, please come out to Bronx Museum and check these pieces out because I'm doing them no justice, legit. Like, I'm a sucker for old windows, the textures. Um, I feel like I'm in this restored home or this home that was, like, demolished and under construction. And um, I'm finding all these little pieces of history, and she talks about that in a lot of her interviews, um, which are really, really awesome. So you will be really cheating yourself if you don't come out and check out Abigail's um, Bronx Heavens. Let's go. Now, baby, I'm here for the Bronx Swagger. Now, because I grew up in the Bronx, I've seen some of these. There's three still around in the Bronx. I might do a short and go around and, and like um, show them, you guys. But I always like wanted to know, like, how did they get there? How, you know, like, um, and these are over, like, 40 years old. They've been, like, put up on buildings. Um, amazing work, fiberglass, so many layers. Um, I can imagine just the trial and error of this. 
Let's go. Swagger and tenderness, baby. Like, what? And the fact that these two artists collectively got together to work on these things. Um, it's beautiful, and it just shows the resilience and the, like, the creativity of the Bronx. And um, I really love how they com like commemorate. <laughs> oh, okay, sheesh, you guys. ESO classes, they help, but not really. Um... <laughs> They commemorate, or you know the word. Um, they shows like um, it pays homage to the people, and um, these must have been very important people because these are very time-consuming pieces. So I really love that. Um, and some of them are even like 3D sculptures, like that are able to stand on their own, which is like bananas. Um, and those are like really my favorite. I'm just skimming through these, you guys. Just the Latin flair. The history, the clothing, the textures, the paint, like, you could see the wrinkles, a little puffiness, the details in her dress, her hands, the nail polish, like, it's just crazy, you guys, please, come check this out. Like, one of them is, um, like, the fortune teller, which is, like, one of my favorites, um, but these are bananas, and... There's even a section where you can sit down and just watch the video and show the making of the process of these babies, which is amazing. Because, I mean, I've always wanted to get, like, a little insight and see, like, the different layers that go into stuff. Especially because, you know, you don't really have to reinvent the wheel all the time. More or less, it's just finding your own way of, like, creating it. But keeping with the basics. Like, what? Even the chair. Like, are you kidding me? Do you see the lighter, the details? Come on now love this and they even have a section where you can have a seat and sit down and even play some dominoes i believe it's dominoes um that you can play dominoes with friends these moments are like these moments they're captured in like this comes of time it's different it's not a photograph it's like they cast their own shadows they invoke their own emotions you feel like um you were there at that moment with them. I don't know. I'm just like that. But um, don't edit. it. <laughs> I'm just really appreciating all the detail, all the texture, and all it took to really encapsulate these. And even, like, the clothing. Like, even the holes. Like, what? Mama, get out. I think the only thing that was, like, um, legit, just real, was the couch there. But all of these details, like that rosary, baby... The texture, the fact that I believe they even use clothing. Because there's no way they would have gotten that, um, that wife beater. But do you see her? Do you see her calves, baby? Like, stab it. <laughs> you saw his hair, Maria. Baby, that grin. He got it. Like, come on now. I've seen him um a few times, days, but I just don't recall like where it was. But I've seen all different renditions of it. So I really thought that was cool that you can really get up close. I love that um, some people, they did add like different things like the dog, the camera, different things that um, will make you relate to them. That spoke about who they were, you know, which is beautiful. Like even the way that that bullet wound on his chest, how, um, yeah, I just love that. If it's not a bullet wound, I'm sorry, sir, whatever that was. <laughs> but the fact that the skin was keloid, like that's bananas to me. Um, El Presidente, love his smile, love the texture in his hair. Um, these were amazing. Because it also reminds me of, like, um, you know, like in Western Indian art where they have, like, the tikis that kind of, like, pile up. All the, guys, I'm not using proper. Ya te entiende, pero, más o menos, you get the concept. I wanted a donut after this, like. Yo, even the tiling on the floor. Come on, baby. I hope you're enjoying this. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a follow. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I'm hoping that you're liking it. Um, It's hard out here, you know, to really get a full grasp of, like, what you guys like, what you don't like. But I'm here for the trial and error, baby. Like, let me know, though. Leave me a little comment. Um, And let me know what you want to see or if I'm doing the right thing. Thing, or if you don't like this at all, the man I'll go. This is the spot, though. I like this, and it even shows. You know what I mean? Like him trying to pose and make sure that like everything is perfect and aligned. Thank you guys for the views, and again, let me know your input. I hope you enjoyed this, 
and come down to the Bronx and check it all out.